The Youth Job Center serves the youth ages 14 and 25. We provide what we call a job readiness class, which I am the trainer of. The students learn everything from resume development to self-esteem, to work on the more interpersonal skills. Um, they do a lot of mock interviewing, uh, anything resulting in job placement and job readiness. We've seen the personal development and the personal growth with a lot of our students. We've also seen more tangible results in terms of coming in and not having a resume, not having a lot of job experience, and they walk out um, with jobs and being placed on internships and uh, paid work experiences. Um, a lot of times the personal development is more of a um, composite, if you will, with their resume packet. So we're trying to work on the entire individual. I can be an asset to helping build a more successful workplace and helping to keep those customers happy. All of the services we provide our clients are free, so basically we have to raise all the money um, that to keep the doors open and to fund our programs. We collaborate a lot with other organizations, other not-for-profits, and employers and various entities in the area. The Outpost is the Youth Job Center's satellite office at Evanston Township High School. And um, since our, our mission is to work with youth age 14 through 25, we have thousands of youth under one roof right here from Evanston. And so it's a great resource for them because they can access our services at school. Every school year, being open just three days a week for limited hours, 12 hours a week um, at the outpost, we managed to hire, to find jobs for about 125 students. Damn. The average age of an outpost client, I would say, is maybe 16. Um, our outpost clients are 14 through 18. We have about half male, half female clients. And I would say um, more of our clients are African American than any other race. I was reached out to through Oakton Community College, and I'm working closely now with the Youth Job Center. It's a basic automotive techno, uh, tech class, so it's just to give students the basic knowledge you need to break into the automotive industry. How to use tools, how to act properly in a shop, get along with coworkers, deal with customers and your bosses. Just recently, several of the students were offered full-time positions uh, as soon as their internships conclude at Auto Barn. I believe some of them have gotten p placed at Midas and have been offered positions there. I just grew up around cars and it's like something I always loved. And it's like I was always a hands-on person and it's like automotives was just right up my alley. That's what I wanted to do ever since I was small. Like I just wanted to build a car and it's just like at the end of the day, no one can tell me nothing about my car because you don't know what's underneath it. I'm the only person who can tell you what's in that car. The only one who knows what's actually underneath that hood. I didn't see the flower bloom until he got his hands wet for doing hands-on in class and actually getting the job. They go from training, while in training, to pay work experience, to permanent employment, but he went from training to direct hire. With the help of this program and with the help of Nicole, I kind of got where I wanted to get to. Because like right out of high school, I wanted to like work for like a company or like Volkswagen or Mazda. It was during like my junior and senior year when we had job shadow day at the auto barn. So I got to meet one of the head people and the person who owns the auto barn. So I got to talk with them and it's like from him, he never went to school for automotive. Like he worked jobs that had to do with cars. He started in the car wash. This was the perfect opportunity to put him in school, free training to put him in school so that he can go, you know, be in a career pathway of choice, which is his passion. And he's always talking about cars, and he's good at it. To see him up underneath the hood, hands on, he's deep into it. So I wish him the best of luck. For me, the customizations, the things you can do, it's just like, I don't even have to drive the car. It's just, it's there, and it's just, people notice it. And they just know it's my work.